What's up guys, I got a little deck analysis thingy. I figured I would do this before every TCGO video, slash this is gonna be me recording it after the match I just took, because I have a really nasty habit where I just so get so comfy with playing that I don't describe what the cards do at all. So I'm gonna try to fix that. I know that's a really big issue, and I figured this would be a good way to solve it. Um, the deck I'll be using in today's video is a Dialga EX Porygon Z Mill deck. Uh, it's kind of like a Durant 2 print. Point oh, I guess, but it needs a little bit more items. It's not as self-sufficient. Uh, it's got a Thunderous to get energies back, whether they be DCEs, Plasma Energies, or Prisms. I do run all special in this deck. Probably should change that up a little bit, maybe run one Electric in here to at least guarantee myself that against Enhanced Hammers and stuff. This deck isn't really too good too, but it's pretty fun. Um, so for the train, uh, actually, let, let me go back. So we all know what Thunderous does. It just gets your energy back and then Thunderous Noise, not really much going to be much of a use to it. Um, I can't really think of a situation where I'd use it. It's mainly just in there for Ride and Knuckle. Star of the show is the Auga EX. Um, I actually used the first attack at one point during this game. Uh, if it's heads, put a card from your discard pile into your hand, which is pretty hot. Uh, you can use it right off the bat instead of having to draw into it and it doesn't go back into your deck. It was a weird situation. You guys will see when it was kind of fitting enough to use it. But the highlight of it is for each plasma energy attached to this Pokemon, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So you can discard up to four cards per turn if you get all your plasma energy out. And Porygon Z has plasma transfer, so as often as you like during your turn, you can move a plasma energy attached to one of your Pokemon to another one. So it's like Hydreigon, it's like Clang Clang, but just with plasma energy. So you have to get it out on the field first, which is why Chorus Machine is a thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, I only run three because more than likely I end up manually attaching a plasma energy in the first place. Um, or a DCE, the need for four, I feel like in more of my TDK list is just like, we can drop that down to three, it's pretty flexible. Dousing Machine, in order to get back like a Shadow Triad or a Chorus Machine to get another one back in a hurry, Dousing Machine's really hot in this deck. You can also get back an Emergency Max Potion, I do run three in this deck. I could probably take that number down to do two, three's okay, maybe make this number two, three. Where Candy's in here for Porygon, four Catcher. Uh, one super rod, four switches, uh, just because float stones won't save you if you get lasered, that kind of thing. Uh, Team Plasma Ball will only get me Thunderous and Porygon Z and Dialga. It won't get me Bufalant or any of the previous lines, but it's still a really good chunk of the deck for free. It's not bad. Uh, Tool Scrapper, just because Porygon Z's ability is a little bit crucial to how the deck will operate uh it's the only ability i have going on here plus tool scrapper will get rid of silver mirrors which can really be a huge bother to this deck i actually ran into one of the match after this and you'll see how i deal with it uh two ultra balls don't really need to be discarding a lot the draw engine is really really small like only eight draw supporters two shadow triads two skylas i don't like this line at all i may be looking into changing it in the near future but it the list is kind of tight as is i could probably take out bufalant Bufalant is just like a last ditch attack attacker, but I run 313, one Bufalant. Three Dialgas, I could probably maybe take that down to two. I feel risky doing that. And then we saw the 12 energy, and then yeah, I guess that's a deck, so you guys will see that in a little bit after this. And welcome to the main event, the actual battle. I don't know what my opponent's playing. It looks like he has the advantage, though. It looks to be some sort of weird TDK variant. He's actually running, I think, the Plasma Freeze Zekrom. Um, I don't know why, but it did have a mirror on it at one point, so it was kind of weird. But uh, in case we did, we kind of skipped ahead from the regular game um, using Dial Dialga Porygon Z, so I'm just trying to mill out his entire deck. Name of the deck is Red Cross because he used Plasma Transfer to keep shit healthy and you also get 20 bucks for doing that so i draw <laughs> i draw a lot of energy a lot of prism energy that i really just don't need it'd be really funny to use reverse edge at least once during this game but i honestly can't see myself using it in like any other game whatsoever so if we're not going to put down a thunderous and just end my turn uh if i do retreat uh manually with dialga it is a two retreat cost i have three energy in my hand so two for dialga one for thunderous i can just start attacking with thunderous or if i really want to i can start reverse edging to get stuff back but it's only a 50 50 chance it does do 50 damage but it's still not really the best attack to be using if you can use fast forward with at least one plasma energy on just fucking use it why not there's there's no reason not to so 
we see a, I believe it was a Colrus machine, put a float stone on the uh, Tornadus. The fact that Tornadus is out there is actually pretty nice. Uh, Thunders will do 60 damage for one energy. It puts down a Frozen City. That's fine. Everything I'm attaching energy to is a Plasma Pokemon in the first place. So right here, I believe I had an option open up to me in that I can just switch out to Thunderous, and then I can just Ultra Ball away the Prism energy uh, in order to get it accelerated onto Dialga. But my hand is still kind of weak like looking at it whether or not i decide to ultra ball stuff away it's gonna suck but i do ultra ball because i do want to get a porygon on the field i'm not going to waste that rare candy and i can just i can just kind of go for that so put a prism energy on this dialga i don't need this energy on this the prism's in here mainly for thunderous uh it does kind of help if i want to reverse edge i don't want to commit that many to that dialga so that's probably going to do it uh, also hits a laser. I don't know if he runs Veerbank at all, but there's that Zekro. I'm just like, people people do that? Like, it's it's kind of interesting. But he Skylas for a Silver Mirror and attaches it. And this is kind of a problem because, well, shit, I can't attack it with anything in my deck. And on top of that, I top deck another Prism, which is like, what am I to do with this? Four Prisms, no Plasma Energy. Uh, my deck is stacked. That's all I can say about that. But I'm just going to go ahead and ride Knuckle. Uh, just to get some solid damage. I thought I would be able to take it out with the reverse edge because I thought uh, I thought that Tornadus Tornadus might have been a one is Tornadus 180 HP or 170 HP. I think I zoom in on it later and I noticed the 180 HP. I thought it was 170. If it is 170, if it is 170, then I made a fairly big oopsies. Um, I can't really even tell myself right now. But if it was 170, I would just attach that one and then just take it out with that. But I'm actually going to undo that because I want to hang on to that in case I can get that Thunderous back. And then it turns out I don't really get myself into a lot else. Uh, I'm going to attach and then I'm going to look at its HP, I believe, really quick to see whether or not it's a 180 or a 170. Or do I even bother? Uh, it is a 180 HP EX. I saw that really quickly, so I have to go for a fast forward. It doesn't discard me any cards, but that thing was getting pretty scary with the amount of plasma energies that was on it. So, Deoxys comes onto the field and then just gets a float stone on it. Opponent tries to get this, gets nothing off of that. Well, he gets he technically gets one card, but it, he's still pretty stuck. I'm not as stuck as I thought I would be. So, uh, goes for another Tornado, despite how many plasma energy he had on the previous one. Uh, Jet Blast isn't going to be doing a whole lot. It did a good amount, but this is a good stall tactic right here. I like this play um, in that I'll have to waste the catcher or I need to get a tool scrapper to go around him. But honestly, the fact that he put this up front instead of like putting an energy on Tornadus and then windfalling uh, really just kind of implies that he really doesn't have energy at all. So I'm going to go for fast forward now that I have a plasma energy. I think about reverse edging because how beneficial could it be? But I'm looking at my discard pile and there's really not a lot I want back at the moment. So I'm just going to go for the zero damage, but I am going to get a card discarded. Who knows? It could be something important. It could be his A spec. It could be a catcher. It could be a plasma energy lying in wait. Who knows? The more plasma energy you get, the more shit you get to discard. I don't do any damage on it, but that's fine. That gives me more opportunities to uh, fast forward without having to commit to like knocking something out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to Juniper because it looks like he just kind of drew shit again. And I believe right here I can team Plasma Ball for a second Dialga, just so I have that option because I do have the Switch, I do have the Max Potion. I also have the DCE, so if I need to go back and forth between them, I definitely have that luxury because I do have the bare minimum what I need on the field. I have two Dialgas that I can alternate between, I have some Plasma Energy on the board, and I have a Porygon Z. So, this is silly. The fact that I am fast forwarding, uh, doing zero damage thanks to the Silver Mirror and yeah we're we're getting places but honestly my objective is to mill anyway so whether or not i do damage that's fine if it just so happens i take all six prizes beforehand that's cool i not even mad so uh you can see he really doesn't have anything again so i do have an option here and that i can shadow triad a chorus machine and then just go for another plasma energy and also switch out into the active Dialga to prevent the poison from stacking up too much because um, magic numbers of 30, if I were to leave it and the Tornadus were to somehow get more energy on it or the Dialga were to get enough energy on it, oh man, it would just, 
it would do a scary amount of damage so i just go to this one with the dce on it if i need to retreat i can just do it with just said dce that's fine i'm just gonna fast forward as much as i can so he brings up this one and it's just like well he junipers i don't remember if he really comes in anything great but i don't want to put this one in danger the one with all the plasma energy so it's like i'm also kind of stuck too do i want to reverse edge do i want to 50 50 gamble and try to get something so uh i'm thinking about capturing and i decide to just go for it because i want to do some damage to the tornadoes but do i want to go for a fast forward or do i want to go for less damage damage and hopefully get myself something good off of this i decide fuck it yolo we're going for the reverse edge and we do land the head so i get to pick any card from my discard pile put it in my hand thankfully i played a juniper earlier i don't really need another porygon z on the field i'm anticipating getting attacked by the tornadus in fact which is why i got the juniper that way i can just uh retreat max potion go back to the other one and great we're solid that way i don't have to get rid of the max potion in vain but it turns out he doesn't want this up yet probably because he doesn't have the dce and he just randomly puts a dce on this thing i don't know if that was a mistake or what i guess he just really wants to get as many plasma energies as he can on the tornadoes and it's quickly becoming a threat but he puts the porygon z in the active that's honestly fine by me it's only got a one retreat cost and the jigs up we're getting rid of the silver mirror and the floatstone but because he didn't attack me i'm just gonna discard it whatever i've probably got one or two more i also have a dousing machine in this deck uh i didn't draw any energy but i drew a switch so that's honestly fine by me I'm also noticing, like, just, I don't highlight it or anything, but his deck is looking very thin, and I can decide right now which Dialga to go into. I'm going to go for the one that has all the plasma energy on it, and I believe I'm going to catch her up the Deoxys in order to just fast forward and try to get get rid of some more resources, because I'm getting rid of three cards a turn. Why not? And I Dowsing Machine right there just for the sake of Dowsing Machine. And then I decide I'm going to go for a Colrus Machine. But it turns out my fourth Plasma Energy is prized. I should have checked. I honestly suck with things like this. I should have. I normally do it during tournaments and stuff. But I'm just pissing around on a Thursday morning, you know, with a fun deck. I'm not really going to take it that seriously at all. But I got rid of a DCE, I think, which is mildly important. It means that the Tornadus cannot get a pinch hit attack this turn. If he wants to drop another Plasma Energy, I do 100% for a fact remember that he does have a Plasma Energy in the discard pile. So as much as he wants to commit that much to that one, he's not going to be able to do anything about it. Like, I think he also Colruses right here, which is dangerous because he also he plays cards from his hand. And then he draws more out of his deck. And then he's going to Chorus Machine, find out that the last card is not a Plasma Energy, in fact. And he just kind of whiffs right there. I believe he windfalls into, and he only has one card left. And then he scoops before I can fast forward. So, mission more or less accomplished. Um, I don't know if he had a way to attack with Deoxys. It was something I was kind of scared of. Uh, him dropping the Prism and then just uh, Helix Forcing. But it looks like he just tried to stall until he could get his Tornado set up. And it didn't really work out, because if you give Dialga an inch, it will fast forward and take as much as it wants to. So, that was Dialga Porygon Z. Uh, still wasn't the best game, but if I play, like, anything Tier 1 or anything like that, you can bet your sweet tits it's not really going to work out as well as I wanted to. But I wanted to highlight what it does. Same with Palkia Superior. Show off two of the lesser-used legendaries from this uh or two of the less used exs from this set and show like you can actually kind of toss them together with something and do something so uh i don't remember if i showed off dialga before but there it is hey so if we have dialga exs laying around and you got pouring on these maybe do something with them anyways uh that was tcg i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you can leave a like rating comment subscribe do your thing extra emphasis on this just because i've been noticing that my ratings and my comments have been kind of slipping lately so i uh, i don't really know what else to say beyond that they're falling and it kind of sucks so um yeah i guess i'm done i'm really bad at endings beyond that so yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow x and y on saturday oh my god if i don't upload you can you you know what i'm doing you know what i'm up to i'm sorry that's it bye